The biggest storyline for the Gophers heading into next fall is a new regime. Tim Brewster, of course, fired at midseason last year after going 15 and 30 in his tenure in Minneapolis. In his place, Jerry Kill, former head coach at Northern Illinois, now wrapping up his first spring as the head coach of the Gophers and turning to Marquise Gray at quarterback, who you'll recall they moved to wide receiver last year as Adam Weber finished off his career in Minneapolis. This is Gray. Where's Gray? There's right there is Gray. 41 yards on the play. Biggest offensive play of the game for the starters. Donnell Kirkwood was banged up last year, but this was a very highly touted recruit. Picks up 27 yards on that play, and then more from Kirkwood. A couple plays later, he's going to pound it in. Kirkwood hoping to challenge. He is good. He was impressive when we were there in the preseason last year. Now, DeLeon Eskridge has put up some good numbers in his career, nearly 1,500 career rushing yards. He would get 10 yards there. And how about Gray? This is that extra dimension that he adds, a good running quarterback, carried it seven times in this game. Next drive, this is Moses Alapate, who's a big guy for a quarterback. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> he is. He's Jared Lorenzen size. Cameron Wilson there for the first down. Now it's Gray again. He's not exactly diminutive. It's big <laughs> quarterbacks there. Gray with a nice run there and kill then. Deciding to call today. Here's what he took from his spring practice experience. I think they've they have tried to do what we've asked them to do. And sometimes people fight you on change. Now change is hard. Change is the hardest thing in the world. It's change just well, half our coaches' wives aren't here yet. You know, they got kids. Change is hard. You, these kids, and you'll never hear me blame the kids, these kids have gone through three or four different coordinators, uh, different coaches, didn't have a head coach during the season. I mean, I, I'm, if I'm one of those kids, I'm not trusting anybody, you know. That's hard for them. And now here comes old bald-headed coach coming in, telling them that this is the way it's going to be and you're going to do it this way or, you know, you're not. And that's hard. But I think they've handled it pretty good to this point, and, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm proud of them to this point. But uh, I'll never be completely proud. I mean, I love my daughter, and I'm proud of her today. But I want her to keep getting better. So we'll see how they get better. What's wrong with being bald? I like being bald, Coach. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Coach, your what thoughts you on it? I'd rather have hair. I mean, I'm gonna You're fighting it? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm fighting, fighting it the it. best I can. <laughs> I got enough problems. Might be a losing bald. battle. Here's what it looks like <laughs> in advance of year one under Kill. A lot back, particularly on D, an area where they need to get better. We're 98th in the nation in scoring defense last year. Offensively, we mentioned Gray was 8 of 23 to this point in his career as a quarterback. Remember, he was second on the team in receptions last year while playing wide receiver.